Hey, my name is Mando, and if you saw the last video and saw the sneak peek in the end, you might have been surprised by this week's thumbnail. Well, I was too. Some artists plan their paintings carefully with thumbnailing and color studies and the whole shebang, but I don't have time for that. I rather spend my time redoing the same painting over and over again a million times. Because that makes so much more sense. Seriously though, I have this problem. I want painting to be fun, right? And I have this thing that if I know how the painting's gonna look in the end, I lose interest in it. Because, like, you know, even if it's only in my own mind, why paint it when it's already finished? I don't know. It just makes it boring and makes me feel pressured and anxious to make it perfect. So I do it this way. I have this unfinished idea and, and make it up as I go to keep it interesting. It's a bit of a struggle, especially if I find that I really need a reference photo in the middle of painting and I can't find one. I had a reference that I loosely based this face on, but I tried to change the skin tone and well, I I struggled a bit a few times, but it worked out in the end, I think. I made the discovery that the mystery of an unplanned painting is what works best for me when I had my first lesson in abstract art. I've always hated to look at abstract art because I, I didn't understand it. I don't know. I don't know what I thought. I didn't like it. I thought it looked weird and like a waste of time. Like a waste of the painter's time and my time as a viewer. Why? Why paint it? However, I was quite excited to try it during lessons. Um, and man, man, I fell in love. I fell in love so hard. The teacher was absolutely brutal and made us destroy everything we made in different ways to make us break free from the figurative thinking, but that's a story for another time. By the end of my lessons, I was on my knees covered in paint, painting on the floor and spraying alcohol everywhere. That's a painting technique. <laughs> Nothing else. Anyway, I fell in love and I love it still. Today I actually identify as an abstract painter that sometimes does figurative stuff like this. Since I hadn't really thought out the color scheme or you know like anything, I tried a few different things with this piece. Um, last week you saw this version with the brown eyes in the sneak peek. Which I did like a lot actually, but you know when I when I sketched the iris out and uh, I had this light background um, showing through, I I was kind of taken by surprise how much I liked the really light eyes um, on this person. So um, I ended up going back to that. I tried a few hairstyles too. Um, had had a bit of problem with that. I, I really wanted this person to have like short hair or African hair because in my mind this turned out to be a person of color and I, I, I really wanted to have like short African white hair because I thought that it would make this piece look really strong. But you know, I, I, I went back and forth with, you know, um, different hairstyles and I couldn't really figure out the head shape for a while there. <laughs> uh, um, I I eventually gave her like long Caucasian white hair for a while because it's the only hairstyle that I'm really used to painting. Um, I, I later changed it back to short though, something like in, in between of um, what I, I wanted and what I could actually pull off. Um, I really like the background of this stage. You can't really see it right now because it's behind the hair. I partly wish I'd kept it, but I saved several versions of this painting because it could have ended up in so many different ways. So I might actually do more versions in the future, but we'll see. Um, at this one point I even started to changing the facial features and went with that for a while and ended up with these uh, different kind of animalistic features. 
that didn't really go together, but like I think they worked together really well. But it wasn't really what I wanted, so I went back to the more humanoid look. Anyway, like in the end, I just wanted to be done with it and get on with my life. And if you've seen my recent videos, you you know I've been talking about this that I I feel like I need to learn to let go um, and just move on when I feel stuck. Um, because you know, in my last video, I talked about finally overcoming that speed bump that I've always felt with digital art that you know there was some kind of obstacle that I couldn't move past and I felt like something finally clicked for me um, and it, it, it actually it actually started to uh, click for me in this painting and when I felt stuck on this one I moved over to uh, last week's painting um, and you know it really started to flow and you know in that video I talked about how I could finally connect with the digital painting as a medium uh, to express myself. I felt like that with this painting, but then, then I don't know, it kind of, I don't know, it kind of disappeared and I had to work with this other thing that I need to learn to let go and move on. But I, I feel really happy because I feel like I, I am on the verge of discovering a way of painting that I, I feel like I'm going to love and that's so exciting but I'm kind of torn in what way I should go from here. Um, my my last painting was painted in, in a really loose painterly and really traditional way but I still like when everything in my painting looks when everything is really deliberate. deliberate. Is that the word even? I don't know. I feel like I'm rambling. I'm gonna... I, oof. Anyway, I think it turned out pretty cool and um, you guys are pretty cool. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Okay, bye.